22nd, AKA shoot day. I just got to the studio. I'm the first one here. So I was able to take some cute little clips that I will show you guys of what the studio looks like. We have this rental for about three hours and I'm so excited to shoot with Zoe and I can't wait to share what the photos look like. Yeah, I haven't had a coffee this morning yet. So I'm gonna go grab that before everyone else comes in and I'll definitely be vlogging the whole thing. So stick around. <laughs> I thought I would sit down and do a recent pickup segment in this video. I haven't picked up the camera in a while. So as you can tell, we're already in December. We've got a small little faux tree. So it is December, it's almost Christmas. These are things that I have been loving in the past month of November. So I did buy them before Black Friday. I will still be doing a Black Friday haul. Some things have not come in yet. So these are pre-Black Friday things that I have been loving in November. The very first thing is a book. It is the Wear It Well book by Alison Bornstein. I heard about Alison Bornstein through TikTok. So she talks a lot about fashion content and some of the things that she has said in her videos were really resonating with me and then I realized that she recently came out with a book I think this came out in October and it's a book all about reclaiming your closet and rediscovering the joy of getting dressed I kind of feel like over the last couple months I lost the joy of getting dressed and maybe it's because my wardrobe is a bit of a mess right now it's something that I'm working on and this book has actually really helped or just the pieces that I have aren't really making me totally happy anyway I am more than halfway through this book and I have been loving it if you guys are kind of in a fashion or styling rut I would highly suggest picking this up I just realized my cat actually bit into my book already I think Allison was also the person who coined the three words for your personal style. These are just like guiding words when you are getting dressed every day and when you're shopping around for new things. The three words was actually the thing that kind of drew me into this book because I wanted to know what my three words were. And I think your three words can change as you move along through life. But right now I think my three words are classic, effortless and the third one is a bit of a working one i want to say it's sporty i say sporty because i like to wear a bunch of like streetwear stuff with my classic pieces so if i'm just wearing a white top and some jeans i would want to pair it with a pair of solomons or something to kind of dress it down a little bit and it also kind of goes with her wrong shoe theory again all of that is in this book if you are curious i have been really really enjoying this while we're on the topic of solomons i did buy a new pair of solomons and they are the solomon xt6 they're just a regular version they're not the Gore-Tex. I got these because I wanted to get a pair of sneakers to wear in the rain. I know that they're not waterproof, but when it's just kind of spitting rain here in Vancouver, I think these are the perfect shoes. So the last fashion item I have to show you is probably my favorite thing that I've ever purchased this entire year, which says a lot, but it is the Totem Coat. I don't know if it actually has a name. I will put up the image here from Essence where I bought it and I'll also link it down below. I am obsessed with it. This is like my be all and end all of all black wool coats. I did have one from Club Monaco that I've had over the last couple years and I ended up selling that and used some of that money to pay for this coat. This coat is very, very expensive. So it was a purchase that I did not take lightly. I've been humming and hawing for many, many months and just really thinking about if it's something that is worth investing in. And I ended up pulling the trigger in November. It didn't go on any Black Friday sales, which is unfortunate, but I am so happy with this coat and I have no regrets. So I wanted to wrap up this video by showing you guys how we are decorating our home for Christmas. We're doing very, very minimal things, but I just wanted to do a little bit of like something festive for the Christmas season just to kind of get us in the spirit. So starting off with this mirror, you can see that we put a like faux garland. I don't even know what you want to call that, but just all the way down this mirror. I think is so cute for the Christmas season. We also got some flowers. These are fresh flowers from our local flower shop and 
we just wanted to add a touch of red and green just on our dining table here. We also went to HomeSense the other night and we picked up some ornaments. My mom loves ornaments and I wanted to send her one. So this is a baseball and a baseball glove ornament. I think it is perfect if you didn't know. My family and I are really into baseball, well my dad and I, so I think he would love this ornament. Mm -hmm. 